We are getting near to the end of this week's Bullseye. But first, how about a hot culture tip from me? It's a segment we call The Outshot. So I was watching a YouTube video the other day, and Scarface, the rapper from Houston, was laughing. And it kind of blew my mind. And it's looking like you haters and you fakers is imitating us. <laughs> Shade it up. Braid it up. Why did it blow my mind? Because Scarface never sounds happy on his records. He pretty much always sounds like he's about to cry. Now as I open up my story with the blaze of your blood, so you can picture thoughts slowly upon phrases I run, and I can walk you through the days of the duck. I often wish that I could save everyone, but I'm a dreamer. Have you ever seen a the who is strong in the game? Overlooking his tomorrows and it finally came. Look back on childhood for a reason I'm still feeling the same. Turning circles in my life, great dealing cocaine. Too many houses in my local life, survive the strain. And a man without a focus life could drive me insane. Stuck inside a ghetto fantasy, hoping it change. But when I focus on reality, we broken in chain. Had a dream. When Faye started recording at the end of the 80s, Houston did not even have a dot on the rap map. As far as the hip hop industry was concerned, Scarface might as well have been repping. I don't know, Juno, Alaska. I shot my gun in the air as I left the place. You left me wild, but I don't care. Just call me Scarface. In 1991, his group, the Ghetto Boys, put out their first hit record. That's how Houston made its name. On the big single, Mind Playing Tricks on Me, Scarface grabs control of the room from the moment his microphone turns on. For folks outside of Houston, folks who'd never heard a Southern voice on a rap record, it was terrifying how deep into death, fear, loneliness, and paranoia could a hip hop song go. I sit alone in my four cornered room staring at candles. Who got it? Real, real, real radio do? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll keep this here. At night I can't sleep. I toss and turn. Candlesticks in the dark, visions of bodies being burned. Four walls closing in, getting bigger. I'm paranoid sleeping with my finger on the trigger. My mother's always stressing I ain't living right, but I ain't going out without a fight. See, every time my eyes close, I start sweating, and blood starts coming out my nose. It's somebody watching the act, but I don't know who it is, so I'm watching my back. I can see them when I'm deep in the covers. When I awake, I hear a car burning rubber. He owns a black hat like I own, a black suit and a cane like my own. Some might say, take a chill, beat. But I can't G, cause there's somebody trying to kill me. I'm popping in the grip. Scarface was and is a gangster rapper. His lyrics are about the kind of G codes and violent fantasies that turned rap intense and thrilling and sometimes scary in the early 90s. But unlike his West Coast contemporaries, who were happy to be having a barbecue, and unlike his East Coast peers who were running grim stick-ups in Project Hallways, Face was and is obsessed with the, the consequences of gangsterism. What comes after you've done wrong? Pressing down on Scarface's best records is the oppressive weight of fear, sadness, and death. You can hear it in his lyrics, but even more in his voice. It croaks and cracks under the strain of his feelings. Imagine life at its full peak, then imagine lying dead in the arms of your enemy. Imagine peace on this earth when there's no grief. Imagine grief on this earth when there's no peace. Everybody's got a different way of ending it. And when your number comes for souls, then they send it in. Now your time has arrived for your final test. I see the fear in your eyes and in your final breath. How much longer will it be till it's all done? Total darkness at ease, be it all one. I watch him die and when he dies, let us celebrate. You took his life, but your memory can never take. You'll be headed to another place, and the life you used to live will reflect in your mother's face. I still gotta wonder why. I never seen a man cry until I seen a man die. In the late 90s, Face pushed his way from cult hero to rap icon. He started Def Jam South, he signed Ludacris, he put out a star-packed record on Def Jam called The Fix. And on the biggest single from that album, he rides a Donny Hathaway piano loop into a reverie about the old neighborhood. 
He was only 32 years old, but he was already an elder statesman. Every day has been the same old thing on my block. You either working or you slanging on my block. You had to hustle, cause that's how we was raised on my block. And you stayed on your hop until you made you a nut on my block. To hang out was the thing back then. And even when you left out, you came back in to my block from Holloway. Fell for the sky, re-rolled the flocks. We know the spots to smoke. He was more often personal by the late 90s and early 2000s. The despair that had once been abstract was now crushingly concrete. To the studio, students with I got a phone call from one of my G. Said my homeboy Reese, he just lost one of his kids. And when I heard that, I just broke into tears. And seeing his second hand, you don't really know how this is. But when it hits that close to home, you feel the pain of the grip. So I called mine and sat my wife with the bad news. Now we're both depressed, counting our blessings, because Brad's too. There's always been plenty of nihilism and rage in gangster rap. I'd be inclined to say it belongs there. It's a power thing. I like to feel powerful, too. But few rappers have connected so deeply as Scarface with the aftermath of trauma. There are so few emotionally honest stories in rap about the day after, the years after, about the moment you face your maker. Scarface was wise at 19. He's wiser still today almost 30 years later. Listen to Scarface as he croaks a message to you. Gangsters don't live that long. Don't soul on the cut make our ends meet. Oh, broken in the option penitentiary. Or the grave is the only way we fall back. Do our time, ain't he dumping you to crawl back? To them streets where we come from toward life. Look alive, no ticket, better walk right. Real with it, quick trigger finger gun play. I only know how to deal with these bling in one way. And someday I swear to God I'ma change that. But I can't cause them evil demons came back. And when I'm high, y'all, I can't explain what it feels like wishing I could die and just in the pain. Man, I've been a loyal dude, and you can trust that. But loyalty versus greed equals felt that. I need to talk, but it ain't no one to listen. Lost the side of mental exorcism. That's my outshot. Shot I hide from the 